Yes, and uh, Israel's cabinet unanimously approved today the appointment of Shas head Arya Deri as interior minister 23 years after he was forced to resign that post because of corruption charges. Deri was uh, subsequently uh, convicted of bribery, fraud and breach of trust and spent 22 months in jail for the same thing in the same position. Elio Homburg, diplomatic correspondent for the news today, has the details. 22 years after he was forced to resign over a bribery scandal, the most prominent ultra-Orthodox politician in Israel, Arya Deri, is going back to his old post as the Minister of Interior Affairs. The Israeli government unanimously approved the appointment Sunday, three months after Deri resigned from the economy ministry in order to enable Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sign a highly contentious natural gas deal. Minister Derry completed the move and the economy ministry will be transferred to me. <laughs> this friendly good turn paid off quickly for Derry thanks to the wrongdoing of another interior minister, Sylvan Shalom, who had to leave office over sexual harassment claims. Back in 1988, Derry was considered a rock star among the Sephardi ultra-Orthodox community when he was nominated to be the interior minister, armed with a strong social agenda empowering the lower class communities. At the same time, however, claims over his misconduct began rising, what did not prevent him from receiving the powerful post once again in 1992. But a year later, allegations became impossible to ignore, and an indictment against Derry was submitted with several accusations, such as bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. Derry was forced to resign with much shame. Surprisingly, with the help of God, I feel fine. The trial took long years, and after a massive public uproar and appeals to the Supreme Court, Derry's four-year sentence was shortened, and he was sent to jail for three years in the year 2000 surrounded with hundreds of his firm believers, but not before leading the Shas party to score an overwhelming victory in the elections of 1999, receiving 17 seats. I am leaving jail happy, peaceful. In 2002, still showered with the love and belief by many Israelis, Gary came out of jail, but the mark of disgrace prevented him from going back to the political arena for seven years. Yet Aryeh, lion in Hebrew, befitting to his name, had no intention of letting go. The time will come and I will return to serve the public, even as a politician. And indeed, in 2013, he returned to the Shas party. I'm back home. Bless you, God, for this moment. But a lot has changed since he left, and Derry was suddenly not the leader, but number two, what triggered a fierce battle between him and the party's leader, Ali Shai. Rare recordings of the late Rabbi Ovadia Yosef, the spiritual leader of the Shas movement, was then released, revealing the rabbi's unsettling opinions on his favorite son, Derry. But in the 2015 elections, Derry led the party to win seven seats and returned to the government as the economy minister and couldn't hide the sense of closure. 22 years ago, I left the interior ministry. It's exciting, no doubt, but also a lot of responsibility. Come, mother, come see your son's office. Now, the road is perfectly paved for the high-profile politician to complete his glorious comeback. But the past has a tendency to stick. And for Derry, criticism is, and probably will be, lurking behind every single corner. And Ali Ochenberg, diplomatic correspondent for the news today, is here with me. Good yeah, evening. Hello, good evening. Once upon a time, there was this guy. His name was Arya Derry, the lion Arya Derry. And? Well, I want to tell you a different story about okay. a different politician whose main objective was being secular. He had enough with the ultra-Orthodox not joining the army. He had enough with them uh, not working and living on the expense of the rest of the citizens of Israel. And he indeed succeed to, uh, uh, to convince the uh, head of state to form a government without the ultra-Orthodox party, a uh, very rare occurrence uh, in the Israeli society. Who is you? Who is Yair Lapid? I'm talking about 2002. <laughs> oh. About Tommy Lapid about and Ariel Sharon. But it 
does ring some bells because we had the same scenario only a few years ago with Yair Lapid, Tommy's son, again with a very strong agenda of being secular and enough with the uh, ultra-Orthodox uh, community and all the budgets they are taking. But surprise, surprise, as his goals, personal goals, changed uh, and now he wants to be the prime minister, he starts to realize that he has to uh, uh, keep good terms with the ultra-Orthodox community. And the same person who only last year before uh, the elections said to Arya Deri that uh, uh, he needs to be re, uh, re uh -huh. how do you say it? <laughs> to, uh, rehabilitated. Rehabilitated, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I hope someone <laughs> understands. It's a complicated word. Now says that uh, it's, a, it's a sad day for the Israeli uh, politics, but nothing more than that. You know, uh, it's amazing that when you want to be the prime minister and when you start understanding that you want to be the prime minister... You need the ultra-Orthodox. Suddenly you go to the Kotel. Yeah. Suddenly you put a elite. Suddenly you go to pray. And again, this is someone whose legacy is being secular. This is the main agenda. What this is the main objective. What do you think that Tommy Lapid, the father of Yair Lapid, would have done if he saw his kid with a talit, with kippah, on the kotel, praying well, and fathers saying, and sons is a complicated story. It's because but Tommy Lapid never wanted to be. A prime, prime minister. minister, yeah, maybe this is the, the thing that uh, helps your agendas uh, being, you know, melted into a different ones. In a more ones. serious note, we have to understand, we, we have to make our viewers understand that the ultra-Orthodox community and party are a very essential part in Israeli it's politics. It's a crucial part. We have two main parties, the Ashkenazi party and the uh, uh, Shash, Shash uh, Sephardi a party led by uh, Derry, and they, they both keep uh, a very... Uh, 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 you know, respective uh, amount of seats, and the, in order to form a government, you usually must have them with you. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Elie Hohenberger. For that, we had a Playboy uh, voice to read for you and to show you, but... Are you dear? Prefer, will not approve. So it's just um, when we're in some, somewhere else, uh, when, anywhere else.